Today we are talking about lines, line segments, and rays. A line is the set of all points between and beyond two points. A line is infinite in length. To symbolize a straight line, you draw a line and place two arrowheads at its ends, like this. You identify it with two named points, indicated by capital letters. A line segment is a portion or piece of a line that allows you to build polygons, determine slopes, and make calculations. Its length is finite and is determined by its two endpoints. The shorthand for a line segment is to write its two endpoints and draw a dash above them, like this. You symbolize a line segment on drawing paper by using a straight edge to make a line and placing two dots at its ends, identified with capital letters. The line segment is a snippet of the line. No matter how long the line segment is, it is finite. A ray is a part of a line that has one endpoint and goes on infinitely in only one direction. You cannot measure the length of a ray. A ray is named using its endpoint first and then any other point on the ray. To symbolize a ray, you draw a line segment and place an arrowhead at one end, like this. A line segment is named by its endpoints, but other points along the length can be named too. Each portion of the line segment can be labeled for length, so you can add them up to determine the line segment's total length. Here we have line segment CX, but we have added two points along the way, point G and point R. To determine the total length, you add each segment of the line segment. Seven units for segment CG, plus five units for segment GR, and plus three units for segment RX. This gives you a total of 15 units. This is the total length of line segment CX. Next, let's talk about coordinate planes. A coordinate plane, also called a Cartesian plane, is the grid built up from an x-axis and a y-axis. To determine the length of horizontal or vertical line segments on the plane, count the individual units from endpoint to endpoint. To determine the length of line segment LM, we start at point L and count to our right five units, ending at point M. You can also subtract the x values. 8 minus 3 equals 5. For vertical lines, you would subtract y values. When working in or across quadrants 2, 3, and 4, recall that subtracting a negative number really means adding a positive number. To calculate line segment length of diagonals on coordinate planes, you use the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared for any right triangle. A diagonal on a coordinate grid forms the hypotenuse of a right triangle, so you can quickly count the units of the two sides. Count units straight down from point J to the x value 2, which lines up with point L. 8 minus 2 equals 6. So line segment JK equals 6. Next, count units straight across from point K to point L. 6 minus negative 3 equals 9. So line segment KL equals 9. Now we have 6 squared plus 9 squared equals C squared. Let's solve for C and see what we get. The answer is C equals 10.816. The length of line segment JL is approximately 10.816 units. That is how you use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate line segment lengths of diagonals on coordinate planes.